as an elite professional athlete, I've always carefully reviewed, assessed everything that comes in from the supplements, food, the water that I drink or sports drinks, anything really that comes into my body as a fuel. Novak Djokovic credits a strict diet for his tennis success. So what is a food that fuels the tennis champion and what does he eat in a day? Keep watching until the end to find out and my thoughts on it as a registered nutritionist. It seems Djokovic follows a gluten-free and dairy-free diet. Why? Well, he made the lifestyle change after meeting Dr. Igor Chetovic, who was watching a match in 2010, and thought that Djokovic's breathing difficulties were a consequence of imbalance in his digestive system. So then I met Dr. Igor Chetovic, and he has actually watched that match in Australian Open earlier that year, and he felt the need to, to get in touch with me and to help me out and um, he received the data that I have a great sensitivity on gluten, no celiac disease, but great sensitivity and intolerance to gluten, to dairy products, and, and obviously to refined sugar. As well as following a gluten and dairy-free diet, he also cuts out as much sugar as possible, tending to sticks of vegetables, beans, white meat, fish, fruits, nuts, seeds, chickpeas, lentils, and healthy oils. Djokovic is so dedicated to his diet that when he craved chocolate after a win, he ate only one square and left the rest. That's dedication right there. Djokovic went on to write a book about his diet and the changes he made in his book, Serve to Win. He says in the book, my life changed because I had begun to eat the right foods for my body in a way that my body demanded. The book details what he eats and gives a sample three days from his diet. What does that look like? Let's find out. In his book, he says he starts the day by Every morning I wake up, I drink a glass of water and do my stretching, maybe mix with some yoga or Tai Chi for 20 minutes. I eat a breakfast perfectly calibrated to my body for the day ahead. The same breakfast almost every day of my life. So what does Djokovic eat for breakfast? For breakfast, he has what he calls a power bowl. This includes two tablespoons of honey, muesli, including organic gluten-free rolled oats, cranberries, raisins, pumpkin or sunflower seeds, and almonds. Or he may add to his power bowl, honey, banana with cashew butter, and fruit. He says that he tries to get manuka honey, which comes from New Zealand. It is a dark honey made by bees that feed on the manuka tree or tea tree, and has been shown to have even greater antibacterial properties than regular honey. So is Djokovic right? Is manuka honey really better for you? Manuka honey has become increasingly popular in recent years and can be very expensive. It tends to be sold as having health benefits. There has been some research to link manuka honey to an improvement in gut health and coughing. This is thought to be because of its antibacterial, antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. But just as with other types of honey, it is mainly composed of simple sugars, fructose and glucose. Even though honey comes from a natural source, it is still free sugar, or added sugar, like corn syrup or cane sugar. This means the body perceives honey the same way it perceives refined sugar when consumed. Therefore, there is no difference if you add honey or refined sugar, you're still consuming sugar either way. So, like with all free sugars, it's important to consume honey in moderation. Overall, what he eats for breakfast would definitely give him the energy he needs to start the day. Eating muesli will provide him with a good source of fibre, which is good for the digestive system and can help regulate your digestive tract. Not only do fibre and whole grains help keep your tummy in check, they're also filling. So you won't be craving for a donut shortly after eating, which you probably will never see Djokovic doing anyway. Another benefit of muesli is that it contains oat bran, which includes an oat fibre called beta glucan. According to studies, beta-glucan can help reduce cholesterol levels up to 10%. By eating muesli regularly, you can help improve your heart health. Adding pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds will also keep Djokovic's heart in check as they provide a good source of antioxidants, magnesium, zinc and fatty acids, all of which will help keep your heart healthy. What does Djokovic eat for lunch? A typical lunch for him is gluten-free pasta with vegetables. The pasta is made from quinoa or buckwheat. For example, he may have mixed green salad with gluten-free pasta, squash, courgettes, asparagus and sun-dried tomatoes. 
The pasta will give Djokovic a good source of carbohydrates, which is something he definitely needs with all his training. But should you choose gluten-free pasta? Well, if you do not have gluten sensitivities, then there is no nutritional benefit from eating gluten-free pasta. Traditional and rich pastas provide good nutrient values such as iron, folic acid and other B vitamins. I have a video all about gluten free so if you want to find out more watch my video. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. What does Djokovic eat for dinner? For dinner he has a protein focused dinner. He might eat something like kale Caesar salad with anchovies or sardines, a minestrone soup, salmon fillets with roasted tomatoes and a marinade. Or he may have fresh mixed green salad with avocado and homemade dressing, carrot and ginger soup with whole lemon roasted chicken. He says that he only eats meat or fish that is grass fed, free range or wild and buys organic when possible. But is organic better for you? In a nutshell, the evidence is mixed on whether organic foods contain more antioxidants and nutrients than conventionally grown food. Saying that, consuming organic food may reduce your exposure to artificial chemicals, added hormones and antibiotic resistant bacteria. But it can cost more and may not be accessible to everyone. Also, it really is not clear if organic food has additional health benefits. At the end of the day, whether you buy organic is a choice you should make based on your personal preferences. What does Djokovic snack on? Djokovic will have a mid-morning and mid-afternoon snack, which would be something like gluten-free bread or crackers with avocado and tuna or apple with cashew butter. During matches, he eats dry fruits like dates to give him a boost of energy. But is dry fruit good for you? There are many health benefits to eating dried fruits. As dry fruit contains less water, it has a more concentrated source of nutrients. It tends to be higher in most vitamins and minerals per 100 gram when compared to their fresh counterparts. A 30 gram portion of dry fruit counts as one of your five a day. This is roughly equivalent to 80 grams of fresh fruit. But it's best to eat dry fruit with meals or with protein rich foods such as yogurt or nuts rather than snacking on it throughout the day. Why? Well, it may contribute to tooth decay. Even though sugar in dry fruit is natural, it is still sugar and can be harmful to your teeth. Because dry fruits are sticky, it can be hard to remove them from the grooves and pits of the teeth. If bits of dry fruit are trapped in teeth for too long, they decay and sugar turns into acid on the teeth, which is definitely not good. Before eating, Djokovic says a prayer before each meal to remind him to appreciate food, eats mindfully without distractions. This is great. Distracted eating is so common in our society today. The pace of our lives has gotten so fast that it seems indulgent to take time out of the day to eat without distraction. There's a Zen proverb, when walking walk, when eating eat. Unfortunately, modern society seems to follow, when walking check your phone, when eating check your phone. So why should we eat mindfully? Mindful eating means increasing the awareness of bodily sensations as you eat. That means paying attention to sensations of hunger and satiety, the reduction of appetite and or hunger after eating. Many studies have shown that eating mindfully helps reduce emotional eating and helps with eating in response to how your body feels, whether you feel full or not. Some studies also show that it may help with weight loss, but there's no guarantee. So the next time you're sitting at the dining table, try and put that phone away. Djokovic has found a way of eating that works for him and helps him to keep his competitive edge, but it doesn't mean it is right for everyone. The key thing is to eat in a way which fuels you. Remember, we are all unique and therefore there is no one size fits all. If you enjoyed this video, you know what to do, hit that like button and if you haven't already, subscribe to watch more videos just like this. Remember, enjoy food and stay happy and healthy. Catch you on the next one.